What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're gonna go over a day training recap. Sadly, it's a red day, but with weather like this, you really can't be too mad. Check it out. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this recap here. No camera today, so just the screen for you guys to see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna recap today's trading, uh, today's stocks that were in play, and also I'm gonna go over and show you one of the tools I use um, pretty much almost every single night before I go to sleep just to take a look at you know, some stocks I always have on my watch list and formulate a you know, pre-game plan on those. So first things first, we're gonna jump into uh, the stocks that we're actually moving today, TLC, TLC, that's right, not the group, the stock actually had a really big gap up from down here in the $5 land. Uh, let's see here, let's get that daily chart. Uh, down here in this $5 land where the 200 day moving average was, it gapped up well above that and uh, it sold off since. It had a high a day of $9 and change, 925. And it actually just faded. You had the bell ring, it dropped. Tried a couple of attempts over VWAP here. They, those did not, you know, succeed. This one right here just banged up right over VWAP. Nice increase in volume on it. it total fake out. Next candle opened up underneath. Uh, right after that, again, another attempt at VWAP. The uh, volume on it was really nice and strong, but again, it failed. It attempted to hold this 90 MA here. You know, we could have looked for uh, basically some sort of double bottom type of reversal pattern, but it didn't come. Uh, and the stocks just faded. It's been a shorter's dream here. Uh, had you gotten short, you know, on this second VWAP fail right here, that would have been a no-brainer. Boom, uh, real nice profit you could have taken on that on that trade there. Uh, I also had on watch uh, RKT, RKT here, and you know, here you go. Real crazy, you know, spike in pre-market. The daily, you know, you could have expected some sort of bounce attempt off of this continuous pullback, but it so far hasn't done much today. Try to get, here's the 15 minute chart, as you can see, kind of like bear flagging now on the 15 minute. Uh, it had one attempt here, breaking through VWAP. This one failed, this one succeeded. And you know, it made a move from 1950 up here to $20 and change. Small move, uh, didn't really make that red to green move. Uh, but this is something that I haven't seen happen today much so i'll continue to keep it on watch here but doubt there'll be anything for me on this stock uh today now i do have that live trade and we're going to go over that one but we're going to continue watching these uh stocks here i had on my watch list nkla was uh something that just sold off right out of the bell so right here you see nkla kind of double topped in pre-market up here this 47 dollar area in front of 48 bucks and just sold straight off right off the bell uh, today in the morning. Now, if you look at the daily on it, on NKLA, you'll notice that, you know, basically any break uh, over 50 bucks here, you should have a, at least a shot at 55. So that's one of the one of the targets I've been looking at if it breaks the, the 50 day moving average as well. But it just hasn't had, you know, real good, like, follow through. Let's see, I also had BA on watch. BA, BA right here, you know, opened up and just basically traded sideways until this candle right here, this monster candle from 173.50 all the way to 176, pushed up to 177.98 on the day here. We'll see if it continues to hold up above VWAP and maybe there'll be a trade uh, during power hour on it. Lastly, I had... Uh, we already saw VXRT. I think that's it for the watch list. And then, of course, I had Tesla on watch. And uh, that's what I traded today. I traded Tesla. And I have two trades on it. We're going to go over that. But before we do, do me that quick favor. Smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And comment in the comment section below. When you do all of that, remember, it helps the channel out tremendously because it feeds the YouTube algorithm. So definitely hit that like button for me and comment in the comment section. And if you haven't, like I said, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I upload my next video. Also remember to check out the uh, links in the description section below. You'll find Weeble. You download the app, fund the account with $100 and you get two free stocks. And you also have First Trade. You download the app by itself and you open an account, no need to fund it, and you automatically get a free stock. 
Uh, I know somebody did it yesterday and I received my free stock for them joining and I got a real nice stock on that one. Uh, I got Uber, so it was 30 bucks. So it's not bad at all. It's a good way to wake up on a Friday morning. Now, uh, on Tesla here, let me move the recorded trade here and we'll show you that in a second. Uh, I was eyeing a VWAP break, but as you can see, this VWAP break failed. This one stopped me out. This VWAP break failed. No trades for me on this one, okay? No trades for me on this one at all. Uh, I have a hard time trusting any VWAP break today on Tesla. Today, Tesla might just have some sort of like consolidation day, uh, to be honest, you know, right in front of the 1700 zone. Because whenever, te if Tesla can break and hold the 1650 and hold it, we'll have an attempt at 1700, a break of 1700 and it's gone. So something that definitely I'm gonna continue keeping on watch into next week. Now, as far as the recorded trade, let me grab that one here for you. <clears throat> and this morning, this morning what I had in mind was a similar trade to yesterday's trade where you see right here that we had that red to green move right in here we just dumped it right off the bell right off the bell and then we reclaimed VWAP and went real nice move uh, all the way up there to 1650 and that was it for for Tesla there the rest of the day kind of just traded sideways uh, and then this morning we gapped up off the back of uh, uh, an upgrade that it received okay so I thought today we might have that kind of action, and we did. We sold, you know, we pushed off the bell, sold off, made a new, made a new low, and then we went ahead and broke VWAP, broke VWAP, and we could not get through. All right. So here is the trade. Right here, when we start to hold VWAP, right off the the first, you know, what is this? Nine minutes? Is this like twelve minutes into the day? we held VWAP here and this 1960 so remember this 1950 zone was the one I was watching nothing you know I didn't break underneath it so I jumped in right there thinking we were gonna get the red to green move right there and bang straight to you know seventeen hundred dollar land basically so I take a starter and I'm looking to add to my position right there as long as we're holding this 1660 zone so I'm in two contracts there, okay? There's 1,700 calls, expiration next week's Friday. I don't want the extra volatility of same-day expirations. So these expire next week on Friday, 1,700 calls, and now I have two of them in at $52.05. So as long as we hold this 1660 area, I'm gonna hold on to this, see if we break through the high of day. My first sell is gonna be up here in the front of the, the, the high of day, and then I'd look to sell the second contract as we break through. Uh, however, I'm looking to set, get rid of one contract because we're struggling. So I get rid of one of the contracts uh, right around there. I think it was here where I got rid of one. Actually, I think I had, can't, there it is, it's gone. So I actually stopped out of it. There we go, I stopped out right there and there was a slight delay. You can see my orders right here. I'm in at 52.10. I added a second one at 52. Sold out at 51.17. So minor loss. Very minor loss on that one. And see right here, I lost 178 bucks. Then I had one more trade, which sadly didn't get recorded, but I'll show it to you here. It was on this VWAP break right here. Bang through it. And we did not hold the level, stopped out. So all in all on the day, I'm down. Uh, just $222 very small red day for me and you know that's the whole point of trading we want to keep our red days way smaller than our green days yesterday was a 600 and some odd dollar green day today's a $222 red day and while I don't like to close out the week <laughs> while I don't like to close out the week on Friday red uh, it is what it is you know I'm not gonna push it Tesla's being extremely choppy but so is everything else like even if you come over here and look at the overall market uh you know where we go we go red we go green come back under vwap come back make a new high come all the way back down underneath vwap very very choppy action overall in the uh, overall market itself if you switch over to the 30 minute chart you'll see we're trading in a range and this is uh this is what we have going on here so there's no way that that i'm going to go ahead and continue pushing the envelope 
uh, on the day, you know, when the market is telling me, hey, Jesse, this is not a friendly environment for clean follow through trading to either side. Because uh, even if you were buying puts here, you would get paid here, but then boom, get stopped out over here on the rest of it. So it makes the trading that much more difficult. And when we push and force trades in difficult environments, all we do is generally end up more red or build up bad habits. So we're gonna go ahead and call it a day here. Let me know how you did, drop it in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button for me, and I'll catch you on the next one.